Hey, how's it going? I'm going to try to do something I haven't done before, and that's a one-take simple review of a car. So, there may be errors, there may be wind noise or whatever. I'll do the best I can do. But I figured it would be kind of cool just to try this out. Today I'm going to be reviewing the 2018 Ford F-150. This one's a crew cab, so you know it has the four doors. And you'll have to forgive me if I make any errors in what I'm trying to explain or whatever. I'm not going to be editing any of this. But I'm going to give you an idea of what this truck is like just as it is, as it's presented. So, <clears throat> so I'm going to back up away from it and let you get a little bit of a look. It's kind of windy today. I'm in South Florida today. So this is the XLT trim. Let's see what size these wheels are. 245, 70, 17. Of course, like typical Ford, it has the keypad on the door. You can open it. Get a good look at the uh, information on here. You can pause that and read it again if you want. So basically, I, I don't know, you know, doesn't have leather interior or anything. I rented this one. The rental car that I originally wanted, they didn't have, and all they had was these pickup trucks. And I said, you know what, I'll take it. My seat's almost all the way back. I'm about six feet tall. So you have a fair amount of room in here. It's not all the way back, but it's almost all the way back. You have some dome lights up here for the rear passengers. These rear windows are tinted, obviously. So as this is not gonna be an unedited review, if you see stuff like my soda bottle in here, uh, that's just the way it's gonna be. Somebody had put a soda bottle in here. It came from the rental like that. So there's a couple of cigarette butts in there too. So I believe this one is all aluminum. It's got the backup camera in here. I don't know if you can see, it's very bright out today, but you'll have to forgive any wind noise. It wasn't easy to find a place around here that was deserted. There's a lot of people down here in South Florida. So it'll be really windy over here. Not the cleanest truck in the world. Let's take a quick peek under the hood. Now I've opened this hood before, the hood latch is in here, uh, but what happens is when you open it, this hood kind of kind of flies open on you, the, you know, the struts are so new. Now this is uh, hoping that I can figure out how to open this hood. Wait, 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 wait. Like I said, there's gonna be, it's not gonna be the cleanest review I've ever seen. So the basics. You know, there's your battery, windshield washer fluid reservoir, coolant overflow bottle, brake master cylinder, there's the oil down there. Now, I don't know if uh, this truck has a dipstick for the transmission. You know, a lot of the newer vehicles don't. So let's see what we got here. See, this will focus. So this is a 3.3. I've driven this truck, I feel like it's slightly underpowered. I mean, maybe not slightly, maybe tremendously underpowered. But I mean, it does what it does. It's a rental truck, so, you know, I mean, it was a nice change from just whatever, you know, I would have normally have rented. So, I wish there was more things I could explain here. I guess this is where, you, in, in the future, you'd be refilling the AC. <coughs> this truck doesn't have uh, any crazy features, no navigation, any of that stuff. Take a peek under here. The ground is kind of hot. I don't want to lay down there and burn my ass off. I am in Florida, so. It's 
nice to see a truck that's new underneath. I'm from the Northeast, up by New York City. So, even a truck that's a year old is going to have a lot of crust on it. Not that this truck is a year old. Capitalist gas filler thingy majig here. Alright, let's get out of the heat. We'll take a peek inside. Manual adjusting seats. So this raises the bottom. This is the back and forth. These headrests are pretty cool because, you know, they're adjustable, but they kind of spring down if you go too far. So you just got to kind of click it just right. Let me go around to the other side. Get an idea how big this glove box is. It's kind of small. It has a little tray up here and a little tray here. I guess you could put something there. That's not in the glove box. It's just on the dashboard, but kind of a small uh, glove box there. I had an Expedition for a while, and it was a pretty small glove box, too. But you do have nice storage here. I guess you could put a soda or a water bottle here. Little cubby holes here. Or another little cubby here. We got some pretzels here, but we'll stick those over there for now. Same deal, manually adjusting seats over here. Let's jump in and take a peek around inside of here. So you have 12 volt, 12 volt access here. And you have another one down here. And that's the USB input. And you have a little compartment down here. Now this seat here, the, it has, this one has a middle seat, so it has this armrest in here. Sorry about that, but someone left me a Florida lottery ticket. Unfortunately, it was a loser. You know, I don't know that anybody would leave a winning ticket in there, but... So now this whole thing comes up, and it presents you with a middle seat. I guess making this a six... There's a weird bug landed on me. A six passenger uh, truck, three, three dudes back there. Uh, I guess I don't know who you would put in this little seat here. Now this bottom of this little seat opens up to another little compartment. I guess we can take a look and see what the, it's a window sticker here, so let's see what this says. Let's see how much this costed. Cost? Costed? I don't know. Let's see here. Now this is interesting. This truck is getting 22 city, no, 20 city, 25 highway, combined 22. I've actually been getting 25 or better, which is pretty astonishing. Uh, this truck does have auto stop start, and you can disable it there. I think you can disable it in the menu, which I'll get to in a minute. Let's see what the cost of this one would be. I'll give you, uh, let me open this up and you can pause the video. Take a peek at this stuff if you'd like. So the total for this truck is 39,525. I'll get some of this and you can then pause it again if you want to read this stuff. So I guess you have the owner's manual and so forth here too. I'm not going to open this because who knows. I don't feel like getting involved in that. That was in there. So now to bring this middle seat down, I'm sure there are versions of this truck that won't have this middle seat. Uh, see this, I don't know if this is just a grab handle or this was supposed to be attached to something. And I, you know, let's hope the rental company doesn't say, oh, you broke this or whatever. But anyway, so you press this button here. I might need two hands to do this. But you, there's a button here on the side of it. And you press that in. And when you do that, this folds down back to the armrest position. Two cup holders here. Two cup holders there. And this little compartment here perfectly fits at least my phone, a Samsung Galaxy edge I think I have seven edge I don't know and then I guess you would have a USB wire that could you hang out you could plug in down there if you want 
up here you have your various dome like configurations on off open with the door not open not on with the door and you have a little sunglass cubby up here these sun visors have mirrors they're not illuminated in this trim but the sun visor does come off and this is pretty typical and you can slide it block out more of the sun all right let's hop around and take a look at the instrumentation these door handles I like are pretty cool they're kind of tucked in power locks here window switch you know regular lock there this one is a two-wheel drive model uh, I would assume in the Northeast I don't know who would buy a two-wheel drive truck but down here in Florida I can see it being not a big deal so over here you have your window controls and the front windows are auto up and auto down. The rear ones aren't. So we'll turn the truck on. And we'll go over that stuff real quick. There's a little Ford chime. Anyway, see, so you see what I'm saying? It's like that for both front windows. So they're up and down automatically. The pretty big extended mirror with a great, I guess maybe you would use this for towing. I'm not sure. Um, I, don't, I don't tow anything. When that, well, the only thing I did tow at my expedition was like a little trailers and so forth. But this mirror is really cool because it gives you a really good field of view behind you. And grab handles here, which I don't know that you don't really need them. This truck could benefit from steps, I guess, side steps to get in and out. But, uh, you know, so we have a little basic uh, thing here that kind of gives you, this is the auto stop start, which I haven't figured out and I haven't read the manual because I didn't want to open it, but You know, I'm just looking, there's a guy in a golf cart eyeballing me because I'm kind of on a dead end. So who knows what he wants. Anyway. Yeah, he's really eyeballing me. Maybe I'm in a forbidden zone. I did kind of drive around the barrier to get here. Anyway. There's not too many things in here. It's your trip computer information. I mean, this is pretty basic stuff. Uh, range I just leave it on range so here are your uh, turn signals they're one click for uh, you know just a few blinks in either direction or you can kind of click them on the wipers and you press the button in here to wash the windows and uh, you have a full thing of gauges here so you have temperature water uh, water temperature, oil pressure, fuel. I guess that other one is... I guess one is oil temperature and one is water temperature, so... Uh, volume controls for the radio. Uh, telephone stuff. Cruise control. You have automatic headlights in this one. So you, know, you can just set it to auto and leave it. Uh, you have the electronic parking brake here. Fog lights. I guess this is the rear tailgate lights. And this is the dimming up and down for the uh, interior gauge lights. The radio is, you know, kind of primitive. Just because it's not a touch screen or anything like that. And I, I, it's all these buttons. It just seems like, I don't know. Climate control here is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, this one you can, you know, if you have the air conditioner on and you go down one more click, it goes to max. At least it's supposed to. There we go. I mean, it is hot, but what is it? 82, that's not too bad. So we'll turn this off. So this is how you disable the auto stop start. You know, if it's annoying you, I don't really care for it. I mean, I have a Prius in addition to a few other cars at home. You know, I have a couple trucks. I have all kinds of cars. Uh, 
but I have a Prius for the gas mileage at home in the city. You just need something like that. That auto stop start is one thing. This in this truck, it just, I don't know, it seems kind of annoying. But to disable that, you would just hit that and that disables auto stop start. So you would see, you would see that message there in the middle. So you have drive modes in this one. What you do is, uh, let me just try to get this to, you have a button here and when you hit this button, this is on the gear selector. You know, it'll go through a normal mode, tow haul for when you're towing as you want to low. Sport, which just kind of holds it in gears longer. And I just leave it normal. I, I mean, if I got this 3.3 V6, I, I don't know. I don't see the need to beat on the truck while I'm renting it. I, I don't know. Other people are like, oh, I'm renting a car. I'm going to go crazy. It's like, I, I, I can't get into that. You know, I don't want to pay for anything if anything breaks or whatever. It's traction control on, off, I guess. Yeah, traction control off. Traction control on. It's pretty simple stuff. Very basic. You have a little thing up there put some extra stuff in you know whatever but here down here in Florida and it would be the same in the Northeast especially in the summer months where I frankly think it gets hotter in New York City than it does down here in South Florida I'm not far from Miami in the summertime I'm saying maybe it's just the humidity is worse up there I don't know so I wouldn't want to put anything in there that might melt you know it would get baked away all right so we're gonna take it for a little cruise down this dead end because I'll be ending this review in a second like I said this is just a simple review oh this isn't gonna stop until I put my seatbelt on it doesn't care that I'm on a dead end that goes nowhere it's gonna be a pretty simple review like I said uh, auto door locks I mean that's pretty common stuff nowadays right it's not any kind of rare feature I had Volvos from the 1990s that had that and had a 1993 Nissan Maxima when it was new in 1993. Maybe it was a 94 Maxima, actually. We do have a backup camera, which, you know, I guess that, I, I mean, I think that's mandated now. All vehicles have to have backup camera by 2018, right? If anybody knows about that, write in the comments. And if anybody's going to criticize me, uh, you know, go for it. Like I said, this isn't going to be some kind of professional edited review this is just something i'm going to try of just getting in the car and reviewing it no matter how crappy or old the car is or how new it is like a 2018 this is the first time i'm doing this uh you can ask me questions in the comments i'll try to answer them from what i remember i guess we got uh you know mirror controls here i'm sorry i think i swallowed a, a fly or a beetle when i was out there I'm like that video you know with a news reporter some bug flies in his mouth that's how i feel right now but plenty of room in this truck. This truck is pretty cool. I wish I was taking it home and uh, keeping it. But I don't know that I would spend, you know, close to 40 G's on this truck. I definitely wouldn't spend 40 G's on this, especially with this trim level. Maybe you can get like wait a year or two and get one for half the price. I don't know. So I'm going to be pulling into this gated community here that I was filming on the side of. One other thing I should say, you turn on the lights, which is cool about these Ford radios, is you turn on the lights, and I don't know if it's going to do it because it's the daytime, because it has kind of a sensor up there on the dashboard that detects, you know, the, how light out it is. But all this stuff, that blue screen turns black with white lettering, which is cool. I, I mean, I would think for 40 grand you'd have auto dimming mirror. I would want navigation. I mean, you don't need. You got, everybody's got a phone nowadays, but even some kind of Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, whatever kind of phone you play with or have or whatever, you'd want something, you know. But driving in this truck, you feel like you're in a limo. You know, it doesn't. It's really smooth. It's just a really nice ride. It's better than I think I would have had whatever car I was going to rent. I was going to go on Toro and I was going to rent, you know, 
some kind of high-end car just for a few days while I'm down here. I drove my own car down here from up north from New York City area. So maybe I'll do a quick review on that one. She's kind of dirty right now, and that's just a 2015 Dodge Dart, which was the cheapest car I could get new. I bought it in 2016 as a leftover, and I only paid like $11,000 for that car out the door. It was brand new. It has a six-speed, and you know, whatever. You can say whatever you want about that car, but to have a brand new car for eleven grand that has... Um, I got an army of dudes here doing whatever they're doing. So I'm just gonna pull over here, landscaping dudes. So let me back up. It's kind of tricky to be filming all this the way I am. But I'll just pull away somewhere to close out this video. While these dudes are blowing uh, the landscaping debris all over my car. The other day, last two weeks ago, I got my car washed. I got an oil change at the local Dodge dealership down here. And these, uh, you know, they could wash your car down here. I'm sorry I'm going off on a tangent. But then these dudes, like, I come back and these guys blow all this, like, debris all over my car. It's like, was annoying, you know. It looked good for a minute. And then the rain slightly, so it kind of, like, baked this stuff on my car. Anyway, back to this truck. I mean, it's a cool truck. I would love to have it. I wouldn't want to have it for this price. I mean, not only could I not afford it, I just don't know. I don't know. I would figure you could probably make a deal, get it for less than 39 grand. But I would wait and get one with a few miles on it so I wouldn't be paying anywhere close to that. It does have, you know, the Ford keys now are, well, I think Volkswagen started this years ago. You know, the switchblade key. Um, but overall, it's a cool truck. You know, I do. Oh, here's one thing I should explain too. I think it might have a manual mode. Yeah, you switch it into manual. And I guess you, yeah, you can switch the gears with this little buttons here on the shifter level. Lever, I'm sorry. Simple stuff, hazards. No big deal. Everybody knows how those work. There's no need to show those. I could beep the horn, but then this community I'm in, uh, if a person hears me, who knows? Maybe they'll look out the window. There's a lot of uh, nosy buddies. So that's about it for this one. If anybody even watches this video, I don't know if they will, or they think I'm a goof and they think it's a dumb idea. That's cool. But I'm going to try to do other cars because I deal with a lot of cars in the job that I do. Some are cool, some are not cool, some are horrible, but it's interesting, you know, I, I should do like an uh, automotive archaeology thing or forensics too. Just reviewing these old crap boxes that I get my hands on and what kind of garbage is in them is hilarious on its own, but sometimes it's scary. You know, I found pretty nasty stuff in a car before, but like I said, if you're interested in this kind of stuff and you think these like one take unedited reviews are cool, just let me know. If you think they're dumb, let me know that too. But uh, that's it for now. This has been 2018 Ford F-150, and I think I said it correctly, this was the XLT trim. And that's about it for today. So take care, and I'll talk to you later. We'll get a little zoom out on this.